Hello everyone. We will continue the topic function module exit. And in the previous video, we implemented the function module exit through C mode transaction code. And we have written the logic. We have written our own logic into this function module, or we can say the best word. We have written the logic in the Z include of the function module. Now we will see in the debugging mode that our logic is triggering or not, or are we getting the expected output? So for the best understanding, I will show you in the debugging mode. So I will go to VA01 transaction code. The order type. I'm passing the order type. I will go for slash H debugging on. You all know if you want to go for function module exit, we will put a breakpoint. We'll put a breakpoint on call customer hyphen function. I will do F8. No, we have not implemented this, fun this function module exit. We implemented 002 call customer hyphen function 002. So I'll go there now. I will reach there. I'm doing F8. Now I am on to call customer hyphen function 002. Just remember in the previous video, E underscore Kunnar, you gave the value to E underscore Kunnar 1029. Here we have four exporting and one importing. It means in the function module, we have four importing and one exporting. If you see the function module, if I will show you the function module in which we have written the logic. We have four importing and one exporting. And here we have when this function module called in the SAP logic, we have four exporting, one importing. And if I will do F5, have you seen this is the same to same logic which we have written. So we are passing the value of sold to party as 1029. Now this sold to party value we are passing it here. Now, if I will do F8, I'll delete all the breakpoints and show you the output. And have you seen the sold to party is automatically coming in the sales document. So this is one of the requirement, one of the requirement from the customer. And we achieve this requirement through function module exit. Now we will go for same to same practice. We should never, never hamper the system because we are doing all these things into SAP. We achieve this requirement into VA01 transaction code. So after practice, please, please undo all the things. So I will undo all these things, whatever I did. So firstly, we will delete the logic which we have written into this Z include. So firstly, we will delete this logic. So I'll simply delete this logic, which we have written in this Z include. So now logic deleted. Now we created the project. So you can go to see more transaction code, whatever the project you created now you can undo this project you have or you can you have to delete this project so how to delete the project to delete the project firstly you need to deactivate the project suppose see if i am going for deletion of the project directly it will not allow me to delete so firstly you need to deactivate the project so you have to deactivate the project now you can delete the project because it's always, always, whenever you are practicing these kinds of things, please, please undo all these things. 
So to undo the project or to delete the project, you should firstly has to deactivate the project. Now, if I will show you DA01, and if I will pass the order type there, now there is no logic at all because we deleted everything or we undo everything which we did. So if I will pass the order type, now you can see there is no soul to party. So please, please make sure whenever you will practice these things into SAP, trans, SAP logic or SAP functionalities, please, please undo all these things. So that's it in this video. Thank you.